signs, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. How are you guys? All right, so let's go ahead and get into some messages here, guys, focusing on whoever it is you're thinking about at the time that you are tuned in. General advice as always, so please do keep that in mind and only take the bits and parts of it that make sense for you and release the rest. All right, guys, let's grab some insight, some guidance for Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. You could also be cross-watching for an air sign. So let's take a look. Somebody's thinking about you. Okay, this is someone from your past. They are feeling nostalgic. We see that here. Somebody that you were romantically connected to in the past. All right, let's grab another card to go along with that one. Watching, contemplative, paying attention, observant. This could go one of two ways. Either you're feeling nostalgic about someone from your past. You could be maybe checking them out, maybe on social media, you know, keeping an eye on them somehow, or it's the other way around. Okay, so take that how it seems to be representing itself in your life. If that makes sense for you. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify this. Angels and spirit guides, please, for air signs. I'll be pulling from my tarot teacher. This is the revised edition. And did I totally forget to mention, this is the relationship design cards by Sister Moon Tarot. All right, so let's, let's see here. Who's keeping tabs? Ooh, this is interesting, guys. So we've got the tower, okay, but it's in the reverse. So in the reverse, it's disaster avoided. It could represent arguments that the two of you might have had. You know, it could represent misunderstandings. But this is somebody that... I feel this is someone that you've lost. This could be a lost love, a past love. Hmm, okay... Ooh, look at this. We've got the devil card. Now, some of you could be thinking of a Capricorn. You could have Capricorn in your chart. So whenever we see that, and I mean, literally next to the tower, but even though it's in reverse, I feel this is somebody that you were romantically linked to in the past. But there's this obsessive, almost addictive feeling tied into this connection. Since this is an air sign reading, it could be you, my air signs, that still feel attached to someone from the past. And maybe there, there is this need to just see what, what's happening in their life. It could be you that could be maybe scrolling through their social media to see if maybe they've moved on to somebody else or whatever might be going on there. Um, so if that's where you're coming from, just be mindful, perhaps, that that could be an unhealthy type of behavior. We do have the hermit coming through next. Okay, so we've got earth energy represented here. You could, again, be thinking of Capricorn or e even Virgo right here. You could be feeling isolated or alone because this person is not with you right now. Part of the reason why you guys are not together might have had something to do with temptations that you went after, okay, that might have compromised the integrity of the relationship. Look at the next card here, guys. We've got the Eight of Cups. One of you walked away. One of you guys decided to just leave the connection, it might have had something to do with other people, you know, whatever these temptations are. Hmm. Part of the reason for this nostalgia is because, you know, they're, they're lonely or you're lonely. And sometimes when we're lonely, we tend to revert back to why, why are we lonely? Like typically we're thinking about someone. Or we feel isolated and alone. I'm kind of feeling 
that type of vibe, you know, like a, somebody abandoned ship, somebody, somebody bailed, somebody left the situation, the relationship before this tower came down. So, you know, going back to the interpretation of the reverse tower, it's, it's avoiding whatever that disaster could have been. Divine Feminine, here you are. Followed by the Magician. And we've got the Chariot. So three very positive messages. So Divine Feminine, you might have a masculine who's keeping tabs on you. We've got Gemini and Virgo coming through here. So if you happen to be Gemini here, you could be thinking of Virgo. We've got Virgo coming through twice. We also have Cancer representing the chariot. So there is this need to move on from whatever the past represented. I'm just feeling here that for some of my air signs, you could be focused on someone from your past. You used to be with this person and maybe all of a sudden you started thinking about them again and wondering, you know, what life would have been like if you guys might have stayed together because there's somebody here who wants to be able to rekindle this partnership somebody wants to move forward and part of what it is that they're focused on whoever this represents between the two of you is to just be able to get past whatever separated you to begin with yeah Somebody wants a reconciliation. Knight of Cups. Very romantic, very charming. There's a chance for this one. Even though you guys broke up, even though you're in separation right now, there might be a second chance on its way here. Some of you might have an age gap as well. This can sometimes happen for Twin Flames. So some of you guys could have also had a child or children together. The family dynamic is coming through as well. We could have an older feminine and a younger masculine. But that's the vibe that I'm getting, that there's the possibility that even though you're not together at this point in time, it might not be the last time that you guys see each other or are able to maybe reconnect. So let's grab some additional messages and see what else we can find out. I'm going to pull from Divine Essentials decks here, the Journey of Love and Journey of Love 2. I've combined both of them. So let's go ahead and see. Air signs, what else you need to know here? Libra, Air, Aquarius, and Gemini. All right, what else? The possibility of reconnecting. That is the desire. You excite me in ways I never knew existed. Pleasure. That could certainly have something to do with the physical connection, maybe. The number four could also be significant. That could represent April, perhaps. So it could be Aries and Taurus. Let me grab another here. For air signs. Here and now, I want you back in my life. You see? That's so interesting, guys. And bottom of the deck, look at this. Justice, I'm ready to leave and bring you balance. What are they preparing to leave? Is it a situation? Whatever it is, it could have been maybe a prior relationship. Maybe they've decided that in order to find balance, they have to be able to address part of the reason, of course, why you guys are not together. But it's so interesting here that we've got 41 4 and 1 and then we've got 14 here so the number 14 could be significant for some of you as well so let's clarify this 
Somebody wants you back in their life. Now, I'm feeling for some of you, if let's just say the person you're focused on for this reading could have either been married or connected with somebody else, that relationship might have ended, which frees them up to be able to have the opportunity to come back. Look how interesting this is. We've got justice. Okay, we have justice right there as well. So this seems to be a message of clarity here. For some of you, perhaps, especially Libra, this is an air sign reading. There's this need to restore balance in the connection, and maybe some of you guys might have the opportunity to do just that. The lovers, okay. Gemini. So there's a choice here when it comes to love. And remember, guys, we already have the magician. So, Gemini, you have come in before. Wow. I, I really feel that they want to make different choices now. Some of the choices that they made before contributed to why you guys had to go your separate ways. Two of Cups. Look at this. And now we've got the Tower coming in, okay? So here's the thing. Without addressing the lessons behind the initial separation, you guys have to know exactly how to proceed without running into these complications again to avoid whatever this represents so that you are creating a much stronger foundation in the relationship. And really avoiding this. I know that the way it came through before, you guys were able to avoid it then. So, you know, it's very important that you continue to do that. Otherwise, you know, this is coming up in the upright. So if you were to open up the door, allow this person back into your life, you got to do it for all the right reasons. I feel the love is presenting itself here, the connection, the attraction, all of that is presenting itself here. So part of the lesson, part of the choices, the decisions that need to be made have to has something to do with the past, I feel. So if, for example, if there was infidelity, if there was a third party, part of the choice that needs to be made at this point has to not go back to those old behaviors in order to not even have to deal with another tower coming in. So it is possible. Look at this. We've got the Four of Wands. I love this. I love it coming up next to the tower. I'll tell you why in a second. So we've got the Ace of Cups. I feel there's a fresh new beginning coming in here for air signs when it comes to love. So the tower can tear down a foundation of a relationship. The Four of Wands is all about creating a strong foundation in the relationship. So I feel as long as you both are able to really work on this, then this does not have to happen, you know? So it really comes down to the both of you working together on the relationship. Now, if you really are interested in reconciling with someone from your past, this is an indication that it can happen as long as you are both working together and you have a better understanding of where you guys have been, where you are now, and ultimately where you see the future. You know, it's like the universe handing you another chance to be able to make this work. So it's beautiful. Look at that. Ten of Cups. So we've got two cards here representing a possible reunion here. So if you've been thinking about this, if you've been fantasizing about it or dreaming about it, a reunion can certainly happen for some of you guys. And I love how we've got the Six of Pentacles that is followed by the Six of Swords. And then we've got the Fool. So what this is telling me here is if this person comes back and if you guys are in agreement that you want the same things, then it makes the relationship 
it's coming through as a very smooth transition, you know, no drama, no tower moments. You guys are really fully understanding where each other are and just kind of moving on from the past, you know, and to concentrate more so on a new beginning that you can have and to really have this amazing future together, really build a life together. There could be possible marriage for some of you starting a family or even blended families. So it can represent marriage. It can represent complete happiness in a relationship. So if you guys can actually address the past and why it even went there, focus on transitioning away from that and concentrate on the life that you guys really can have in the future, I feel from my air signs, you can have it all. You can have it all. All right, guys, so that is what I have for you. If you are interested in your own personal reading, I would love to do that for you. That information is down below in the description box, and I will also include the link to the decks that you see here. Thank you so much, Air Signs, for tuning in, for your support of my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.